Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's me, Andrew here. Just got back from my local Apple store here. Picked up the all new Apple iPad Air. The all new iPad Air is 20% lighter as well as 20% thinner and also features the all new A7 chip. This is the 32GB Wi Fi and cellular version for Verizon Wireless in space gray. Alright, let's get started. Here you got iPad Air on the left, Apple logo on top, iPad Air on the right side, and Apple logo on the bottom. Alright, let's go ahead and cut it open, get inside, and see what we have. Slice it one time right here. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, the all new Apple iPad Air. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at this beauty. Whew, so smooth. Alright, let me go ahead and set aside the iPad Air and take a look inside the box, see what else we have. Like some Apple information here. Here you got your iPad Air button layout information guide, two Apple stickers, an additional iPad information guide. Here you got your lightning to USB connector, 12 watt USB power adapter. Alright, let me go ahead and get organized here and we'll go ahead and unwrap the all new iPad Air. Wow, you can definitely feel the weight reduction in this iPad. It feels so much lighter than my iPad third generation. Looks beautiful. Alright, let's go ahead and take this wrapper off. The all new Space Gray color looks slick and sharp. Alright, let's go ahead and take this wrapper off and let's take a deeper look. Check that out. Same 9.7 inch retina display. Which is faster, thinner, and lighter while still maintaining the amazing 10 hour battery life that the iPad is known for. There goes your lightning connector on the bottom. Check out how slim that profile looks. Alright, for a size comparison, let me go ahead and bring in the iPad 3 and compare the size differences. Goes my original 3rd gen. There we go. So the length is about the same, but the width is slightly smaller. Let me show y'all a better viewing angle right here. Look how much thinner the iPad Air is. Amazing what Apple squeezed into the small enclosure. Alright, let me go ahead and give you a better viewing angle of the all new iPad Air in space gray in the back. Alright, next up let's take a look at the all new iPad Air which features the all new Wi-Fi with Mimo technology. Which Apple claims should give you better performance and range. Alright, let's test out the third generation iPad first. This is on Wi-Fi. Testing the ping. Ping came in at 62. Looks like we're averaging about 22 to 21 megabits a second. So we got 21.81 megabits a second. Let's test out the upload. Averaging about 2. So 2.16 megabits a second for the upload. Let's test out the iPad Air now. Make sure it's on the same server in Austin. Alright, here we go. Testing the ping. Ping came in at 62 milliseconds as well. Let's see if there's a difference with the MIMO technology. Looks like a little bit of a difference, not that much of a noticeable difference. Upload speeds, pretty similar. So the all new MIMO technology should give you a slight boost in performance, but not that noticeable. Alright, next up is test out Safari and launch New York Times and see how much faster the iPad Air is compared to the iPad 3. Alright, let's launch Safari. Type in New York Times here. New York Times on the iPad Air. And let's go. And boom, the iPad Air is done. So in this test, the iPad Air has proved to be slightly faster than the iPad third generation. Multi-touch seems very smooth on both devices. 
With the all-new Apple A7 dual-core chip, let's test out the performance on Geekbench 3. So for the single-core score, we got 1,479 and multi-core 2,689. Alright, thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please click on the like button. Please subscribe for more upcoming videos. Alright, thanks guys. Peace.